act like we never left. What is good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Weave, and here on my channel, we coach you on three important facets of your daily life. First, on your personal growth and development. Second, we always push you forward as you continue to navigate your way through your professional careers in business and entrepreneurship. Third, we help you to build, maintain, and nurture long, lasting, and more meaningful relationships. Today's video was another email request for me to tackle the topic of indifference in relationships. Now, if you don't know much about me, I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. Indifference is one of the strongest forces in the universe. It makes everything it touches meaningless. Love and hate don't stand a chance against it. There's sort of an indescribable attraction that people feel towards someone who has a naturally indifferent attitude. And what is an indifferent attitude? It's someone who simply has no particular interest or sympathy. It's someone who's unconcerned about your concerns, about your opinions, or about your thoughts in general. Because normally, per person who has a naturally indifferent attitude, they don't really give a damn about how the world perceives them. But indifference is indeed an attitude that you cannot fake. It can't be bought off of Amazon. It can't be forced to become someone's personality. And our natural attraction to indifference comes from the feeling that we have as human beings the need to be accepted, to want our ideas to be validated to want our love to be appreciated. So when you are dating or in a relationship with someone who has an indifferent personality, it's hard to see whether or not they care as much as you do about the things that are happening. So why the hell is this important, Weave? I'm telling you this because the interesting part of indifference to me is that I believe there are two levels that exist with indifference. And I wanna clarify each because it will allow you to understand the type of personality of the person you may be dating or in a relationship with. And to understand whether or not they are manipulating you or someone who has a naturally indifferent personality type that responds differently when confronted with the same information that you may deem urgent or important. I also believe that this second type of indifference can be dangerous and cause more harm than good in a relationship. So let's tackle the first type of indifference. I always describe it as the three C's of indifference, simply meaning they are cool, calm, and collected when faced with adversity. This is a lot of times someone you know who has been through struggle and made it out on the other end to be successful in their own right, to be in a loving relationship, to just seem like they have life kind of figured out. That in itself is natural indifference because they are a person you tell them bad news, you are emotional about a topic, but they have something emotional happen to them. They always seem to take it in stride. Of course they care and are an apathetic person, but they never let you see them sweat. They're a consummate professional when it comes to handling their business. And when faced with tough times, shrug of the shoulders, because they'll figure it out. And in their relationship, they're easygoing and allow life and love to happen naturally, you know, the way that it's supposed to. The second, and what I would define as more dangerous and concerning form of indifference, is someone who's faking being indifferent. Faking that they don't care, that they're shrug of the shoulders. Faking their calmness trying to play a manipulative game that they read in a book or watched in a video. And they think that this will help them with their attraction. Listen, I hate to break the news to you, but faking indifference is not only going to cost you your relationship, but it could also lead to hurting someone else in your personal friendships. So you have this misconception that if you try and manipulate and fake your way through, it'll increase in traction. That if you play mind games, it'll cause a man or a woman to want you more. And that's cute for a little while, but that's just a facade. And your true identity always gets revealed in the end. You might be cool for a few months, maybe even a few years. But what I would ask you is, what the hell is your end game? Are you trying to build a love that's lasting? Or are you just trying to get laid? Because if it's the latter, then cool. The game you're playing will get you laid. But if you think that nonsense is going to help you in a loving relationship, you're fooling yourself. One of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel almost a year ago is because I understood that there was a need for people to hear useful and purposeful content that will allow them to build towards personal greatness. I said personal greatness. There is nothing sincere about faking your way through indifference in taking advantage of people that you say that you love. 
by adjusting the love and trust you build with those around you. This journey we are on, if you follow this channel, is to help you nurture and foster an environment of positivity and success. That can only be attained when you accept personal accountability for both your life and your choices. By you choosing you as your first priority in building your business, by advancing in your career, by consistently increasing your level of hunger around personally developing your mindset and setting your sights on the most important goals that you have in life, it will naturally create the form of indifference that you're looking for. Do you want to know why? Because when you are laser focused on being the best version of yourself that you can possibly be, people will naturally be attracted to your personality, to your work ethic, to your pursuit of happiness, that they will sense that sincerity in your grind and they will want to be a part of it. So quit it with the gimmicks, with the fakeness, with the quick schemes to instantly become an indifferent and confident person. It doesn't work. And when it does, you feel empty because deep down, we all have a yearning to be loved to be in meaningful relationships. So make a commitment today to building your confidence and indifference the right way. Start getting serious about both your self-acceptance and self-improvement journey today. You got this. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in today. And if no one has told you this already today, I appreciate you. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification before you head out today and become official to the squad. I'm gonna head out now, but I'll be back with a new video soon. In the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.